What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create a type of dictionary uh, in JavaScript similar to the dictionary you might see in C Sharp or Java. Uh, so let's get to it. The first thing I want to do is make a function called dictionary. This is just going to be a constructor. And uh, let's take off the auto run JS, clear out the console. And we're going to define some methods on our dictionary. We're going to define a data store, which is just going to hold the items or the members of our, of our dictionary, the keys and the values of this uh, class dictionary, basically. And um, let's see. Then uh, we're going to create some methods. So we're just going to have three. We're going to have it implement three methods. We're going to have this dot add. It's going to be a function. It's going to take in a key. Uh, and we're going to say if a key, oh, sorry, it's going to take in a key and a value. And we're going to say if key and value, make sure there's both in there. If there's a key and a value, then this dot data store dot push. And we're going to push on the key to the key and the value to the value. So that's just what we're calling them. You can call this term anything you want. You can call it, you know, um, dictionary key, dictionary value, value whatever you want. And uh, let's get on, get our semicolons on there so the compiler doesn't complain. And after we add it, we can just return this dot data store. And yeah, so that's this. Um, it will implement another method, this dot remove at. It's going to be similar to the C sharp remove. And it's going to take in a key. This is going to loop through our data store. This dot data store dot length. I plus plus if this dot data store of I dot key is equal to the key, then uh, we will do this dot data store dot splice. So we want to remove the index that we're on and just one, and then and then otherwise. Uh, we we'll just return this dot data store, and then we'll just return this dot data store. Uh, so that's that function, and we have one more function, but this will be a this dot find find at function. This will take in a key. Again, this will loop through the whole uh, data store. Data store dot link i plus plus, and um, if this dot data store of i dot key is equal to the key. Return this dot data store of i dot value, and then otherwise return this dot data store. And we'll have one more function. This dot um, size is going to be a function. This is just going to return this dot data store data store dot length. So that's it. Now that we've implemented the methods of our dictionary, let's create a new dictionary. So when we do that, we'll say var dictionary one is a new dictionary. And if we log this out, let's see what we get. If we console dot log dictionary one, we should see it has all these methods on it. Um, so if we get the length of it right now, it should say zero or undefined. It doesn't have a length. So uh, let's add some stuff to our dictionary. Dictionary one dot add. Uh, so we're gonna give it a key of key of one and a value of one. And let's copy this method a few times. Two, three, four, five. Let's change out these. Two, three, four. And five, and we'll put in here two, three, four, and five. So now, if we log out our dictionary, dictionary one dot length undefined. Why is it getting that? Oh, right. Dictionary one dot size should say five. Or as if we log it up here, console dot log dictionary one dot size should say zero at that point because nothing has been added to it. So that our size function is working. That's great. Um, let's log out uh, our ad is working as well, but let's look at it. Dictionary dot data store. Make sure we have everything in our data store. 
uh, so, okay, that's our data store right there. We got the keys and the values being um, represented correctly. That's good. Uh, let's try out our other two methods: console.log dictionary one dot remove at, and let's pass it the key of one. Let's see what we get back. We should just get back two, three, four, five because one is no longer there. That method is working. Let's try our last method, console.log um, dictionary one dot uh, find at, and this will take in a key of three. And this will just return back to us our value of three. Similarly, if we put if we put in there like six, it should just return a data store because it hasn't found it. Uh, we could also put return. We could put not found plus this dot data store. So not found, not found. And then it'll give us this object back. So that's good. Um, but if we put in two. We should get back the value of two. Uh, so that's it, guys. That's how you implement your basic dictionary. And why would you want to use this? So you can look up members of this class by the key rather than the index, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, you could argue these methods are, you know, just the same speed as an array. But I think once you've implemented them, it's a little nice to have this interface where you can just call these methods of your dictionary class and use them. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.